Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are on 15th session of our Oracle Service Oriented Architecture 12C. And today we are going to talk about the format conversion of an XML payload to JSON. Similarly, by using the same method, we can also convert JSON to XML. But in the demo, we will be demonstrating how we can convert an XML payload to JSON payload using the translate activity. And this scenario comes in handy whenever we have a requirement uh, where we are calling a REST service and that requires JSON as an input. However, our source is a uh, SOAP or any other uh, DB adapter or something like that. And that is giving us an XML payload. So this is a very handy requirement so let's let's start this is the sample xml that we will be converting into json and our xml after the conversion should look like this so now let's start developing the soa project we'll create a soa project we'll give it a name I'm giving it a name as XML to JSON conversion demo. We're creating a blank composite as of now because we will have to create relevant schemas which will adhere to the sample XML that I shared with you guys. I showed you guys just now. So let's create a schema which will adhere to the xml sample that i showed you in the beginning of the video so let's let's create a source xsd and it is created and now we will be needing a native schema for our demo so native schema will basically will tell us that we want to convert xml to json or a net to a native format from original to a native format that I'll show you once I create it. And we have a native format builder for that, which is given by SOA J developer itself. Here we will browse that JSON file where we have that sample. So this is the JSON sample. We'll click on next. This is our native schema and here we can see this, you know, an XSD version JSON. That means we are trying to convert it to JSON. If we can test it, so this is how the element is going to look like. Click on next, we'll finish it. And here we have the NXSD and schema created. And now we will begin developing the project and developing the business logic because all the prerequisites that were needed are completed now. So we'll create a Beeple process which will take input from the source XSD because we want our source XML to be of a match where we have created the NXSD. So we'll create a Beeple process. Let's keep it as synchronous and in the input section, we will browse the source XSD root element because the elements of this schema is adhering to what we have created for NXSD. Once it is done, now we will need to build the logic in Beeple. Here, we have under the component section, we have a translate activity where we will be needing a variable of NXSD type. So in NXSD we have this root element. We will create a variable of this type. This is important because sometimes if we use an input variable which is created from XSD and we use that in the translate activity, sometimes we run into an error. So just to avoid that, uh, we will be taking variable from NXSD and this translate activity, we can give it a name and here are two options, either native to XML or XML to native. 
because we are converting it from XML, we'll choose XML to native. We'll select this root element here and we'll select the native schema that we have created. Here we go. And we'll just create an output variable here. So now as an input, we have given the native element variable. So we need to assign value from our input to this native native variable that we have created using the nxst root element and because the structure is almost identical so it will be a point to point mapping so there is no complexity there we will just assign uh, body to body id to id title to title and user id to user id And I think our logic will be completed once we assign the output of the translate activity to the output of this service so that uh, user will get the JSON as a result. We'll save it and now it's time to deploy and test the service. So the service is deployed and now let's test it. Under the de deployed composite, we have this XML to JSON conversion demo. We will test it. It has been exposed as SOAP. So we'll simply click on test and we'll provide those four elements that it asks as a request payload. We'll give it any test values, dummy values. We we'll click on test and it should ideally re revert back with the JSON payload of this. So this is it guys. This was a very simplified version of translating XML to JSON. Using the same approach, we can convert any complex XML to any complex JSON. And it comes really handy when we are dealing with any rest service which is target and requires a json payload as an input take good care of yourselves and thank you so much for your time bye bye